Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have this X2 X Drive 180D M Sport. This car's finished off in Masana Blue Metallic and this is a September 2020 registered vehicle. Quite a standard spec car, this in terms of options selected. Um, I'll run around some of the standard specifications and some highlight features of this X2. Starting at the front, we've got the beautiful Masana Blue Metallic paint finish. This is actually one of the launch colours that the X2 was launched in. Um, and I think it really does suit the styling and the characters of the car extremely well. And also on a beautiful day like this, we'll just make that metallic paint pop. The front, we've got the full LED, and this is the adaptive LED lights as well, as standard on the X2. Um, so that's a system where the lights will turn based on the steering wheel input. Helps to brighten the road ahead on some of these dark country roads we have around the Lake District. Moving around, we've got the 19-inch double-spoke alloy wheel. There's a lovely diamond cut front face to it, it's got this polished almost diamond cut front face and then we have this darker grey inlay, it really makes the wheels pop and stand out. Moving down the side, being the, obviously the M Sport variant of the X2, lovely colour coded finish around all the wheel arches, a high gloss black finish as well around the windows. We've also got the, one of the options that has been selected is the sun protection glass, so that's the rear tinted windows. What's the element of privacy for the rear of the car, but there is a UV element there as well. So it does help keep the cabin a bit cooler on hot days and protect the rear passengers from some of those harmful UV rays. Moving into the boot, uh, power tailgate as standard on the X2. Can you operate it by the key like I've just done, or the roundel badge, and there's also a button by the driver's door. We've got 40 20 40 split folding seat arrangement, very versatile, lots of practical storage hooks as well on the back. We've got this nice false floor as well, so not too much of a lip when you've got some larger luggage items in here. If you do need some extra capacity, that false floor just lifts up and clicks out of the way. And we've got a really, really deep storage bin, so it really does dramatically increase the storage capacity. Or leave the false floor in place, and of course you've very much handy hideaway storage as well there. Moving to the rear of the car. We've got the uh, black Dakota leather running throughout the vehicle. Got some nice gray contrast stitching as well, showing, showing some of the details off. And it's lovely perforation as well through the main four seats. Here's some of the details as well. Along that door card, we've got the lovely, which are one of my favorites, the brushed aluminium effect on the trim pieces. So basically it's a piece of brushed aluminium and that sort of pearl chrome finish as well which sort of extends back from the door handle there and you can just and so see the part of the ambient lighting system that sort of slightly purple line very bright day today so it doesn't show up particularly well but there's a multitude of colors you can choose to really change the ambience of the vehicle it is really lovely at night actually with those ambient lighting system rear passenger's also got some ventilation controls there and usb points to charge mobile devices Moving to the front of the car. Also being the M Sport, we've got the fantastic M Sport seats. Loads of adjustment and loads of support as well. These inflatable side bolsters as well, so you can adjust those. And that same lovely perforation running through the centre of the seats. Okay, stepping into the vehicle. Got the beautiful backlit LED dials there, almost look digital when they're actually on. It's um, such a vibrant, clear finish, but they are an analog system, but because the backlit, like I said, very crystal clear. We do have this LCD panel at the bottom that can display various different bits of information um, as and when basically required to. Or you can toggle through the options menu there, gives you various different options you can choose in terms of readout, and there's also a digital speed readout there as well. We can see next to it as well, they, they're 10 miles an hour, so they've got the speed limit display in this vehicle. So basically that just highlights current yeah, speed of the road, uses the sat-nav as a base, and also the camera in the rear view mirror, reading road signs, keeps you up to date, and they know what's going on with the road. Across the central display, we've got the BMW ID6 touchscreen infotainment system. We've got a live tile system, so we've got these six different tiles here, they can be 
change to a multitude of information and display different information in different ways so you can get it set up and to work for you and for the best. As you see it's full touch screen, you also got the fantastic BMW iDrive dial as well and a good voice activation system, so lots of different ways to interact with the full infotainment system, of course full Bluetooth connectivity for your mobile device, full DOSI DAB radio, anything else going on in there. Scrolling down, it's got the audio controls there, the CD player. We've also got the dual zone climate control for front passengers. And also the freeway heated front seats as well for the front two passengers. Moving down, we've got the fabulous six speed manual gearbox. As I mentioned before, got the iDrive dial there and the sort of fast action buttons, automatic handbrake. Being part of the X range, we do have the hill descent as well, along with the different driving modes there. Dramatically change the characteristics of the vehicle and get it to work for you. Just finish back of the display, this car's also, also got the reversing sensors as well, and you've also got the sort of a sonar display system there as well to give you a visual indication as well as an audio indication. With the steering wheel, the left hand side, we've got cruise control at the top here and speed limit control down at the bottom. And on the right hand side, with all the audio options there. This car has 3,298 miles on the clock. As I mentioned, it's a September 2020 registered vehicle. And this has been one of our ex demonstrators, so, been registered to ourselves as the first occupant. I hope this video has been of use. If there's anything further we can do, please do get in contact. One of our sales executives will be more than happy to help.